The deputy minister, my force, Peace Mabe, she said, I said, you will find money. Because that was the morning that you told me it will and it shall happen. Now, how can an official tell me there's no money if my boss said I must do something? <laughs> Sometimes these officials, they want you to be reshuffled prematurely. <laughs> But I'm very happy with the officials in the department. They worked very hard, the officials, day and night. But I think it would be wrong of me not to mention these few names. Because I have never done this. I don't know how to do it. I had to ask. And I want to start with May Enji Mutsekha. You were like a mother. You guided me patiently. Minister Bantu Olomisa. He guided me very impatiently, but he guided me. <laughs> Minister Tolase, Minister Mkunu, Minister Nyoto, Minister Pemi Majodini, Minister Tembi Simelani, uh, Secretary General of the ANC, Mbax Resmates Mbalula. <laughs> he took all my calls, he guided me, he says, Gaiti, Jason. And then the airtime of Africans finished halfway. He switched back to, <laughs> to the family. To the families, you've been an absolute joy to work with. This is a very somber process. But your patience with us has really shown us that we're on the right track. I want to tell you something, President, before I I do the honors of calling you. This was not an instruction, it was a labor of love for me. Because my mother died of a broken heart because her younger brother was never found. So my mother never spoke about her younger brother, but I could feel her pain. So I saw what my mom went through. That's why I was rushing because I saw what my mom went through. Program directors. President Thabo Mbeki. Former president of our republic. We thank you for being here. And we thank you for not only being here, but we are delighted that we are following in the footsteps that you laid to have this moment happening. We thank you for that. <clears throat> you did not only, together with the father of our democracy, Nelson Mandela, direct that this should happen, but you were also there in exile with a number of the comrades who lie here, especially our former Secretary General Dumano Okwe, whose remains also lie here. So this moment is special for you as well because you in many ways have been part of this whole process and you lived through it, and you experienced it. So thank you for being here. We honor you, and we appreciate what you initiated. So thank you very much. <clears throat> ministers and deputy ministers who are here present, the Premier of Gauteng, who is not here, but represented by his MEC, the leadership of the African National Congress and the leadership of the Pan-Africanist Congress and other liberation movements who are here as well, stalwarts and veterans of our liberation movements, 
traditional leaders who are here present with us and our faith healers who are also here who played an important role in enabling this moment to also take place. Your Excellencies, High Commissioners, and other Ambassadors who are here with us present today, key officials in our government who also enabled this occasion to happen in the organized way that it is happening, the leadership of the military high command, the command of our military and the police who are here, the chief of the National Defense Force, General Mapuanyo, friends and distinguished guests, but more importantly, the families of those who are, we are rebearing here today. We thank you for being here and we honor you. Minister McKenzie, I didn't know that <clears throat> you regard those who think that you are happy as being liars. Because today you told us the truth that they are liars because they are not telling the truth. The real truth is that you are very, very happy to be minister. Now, when I called Minister McKenzie, as we were putting together the government, I called him three times. First, I called him and said, the Secretary General is talking to all parties, and I'd like you to be on hand to receive the Secretary <coughs> General's calls. And he said, no, don't worry, President, we'll be ready. So I called him again. And just to keep him warm, because I was ensuring that the GNU does take off uh, as the Secretary General leading our team <clears throat> carried on with his work. So I called him again, and this time I found him in a movie house. He was watching a movie, and I said, no, don't. He said, I'm in a movie house. I said, no, don't worry, I'll talk to you later. We should fulfill the promise made to the families of our fallen heroes. And this <laughs> Welcome to LT Celeb Times. That's it for now, guys. And uh, please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching.